That's so fucking distracting, dude. Every time I see that shit with Melina, bro, I just, it fucking, it grabs so much of my fucking What a pimp. I'm checking my lighting. You look like my mom when she says we're in the car and she says dance party. <laughs> Are you roasting my dancing abilities, brother? Come on now. All right, let's uh I'm going to switch scenes over and we'll just start playing playing the game. Dude, we were up till like 3 or 4 a.m. <laughs> and it's like 2 p.m. now. So We've kind of, or I kind of, have been up a long time. I don't know. Maybe some viewers are here from last night as well. But, uh, dude, I'm fucking tired. I'm a tired boy. I literally got home at, like, 4 a.m. And then I thought I was going to walk home. I'm going to be walking home, probably chilling. Wait, did I walk home? I don't even fucking remember, dude. I was so fucked. Um, I think I did walk home because I got donuts. I woke up, and there were donuts in my backpack. Like... I was like, what the fuck is that smell? And I look <laughs> and I open my backpack and I dead ass have like a dozen donut holes in there. So I'm pretty sure I walk. Yeah, I don't get how you stream these hours. It seems crazy. Yeah, it probably is. It's probably not something I should be doing. Like I should probably be watching that a little bit more because I, I will burn out. I do burn out. Bookman smash. Yeah, bro. You doing baby mode again today? Shut the fuck up bro i'm sober as fuck we're gonna play fucking uh we're gonna play the hardest difficulty possible let's hit campaign should we start all over on the hard mode i think i think we're nightmare ready hold up let me take off the jacket i think we're hard mode ready okay I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. I, I literally dreamed of doom, okay? <laughs> How am I supposed to beat them? I don't understand. Oh my God, I can't use shit. Oh my god, there's more fucking things though. How long will it be, I wonder, before your spirit is broken? God damn it! There's fucking like 18 keys that I have to fucking learn for this stupid fucking game. So, I'm ready to go. More like Bookman gets smashed then? Bruh, get out of here. I really liked you posting the deleted VOD on the Patreon because I was asleep when you streamed it. It was nice to have something funny to listen to while I work. Awesome. Well, for anybody else, you know, you can get on the Patreon and get that stuff. It's pretty dope. You get uh, any of the VODs that I delete. As long as I didn't delete them because private info came out or something. So if you're on the Patreon, you have uh, all the VODs where I say the N-word. <laughs> you guys get all the N-word VODs on the, uh, on the Patreon. Rip and tear. Until it is done. Yeah. Oh, let me at him. Let me at him, bro. Let me at him. After last night, bro, fuck these fucking stupid ass aliens. Bro, I'm about to put them in the fucking dirt. I'm about to send their asses back to hell, bro. We about to go on a whole fucking holy campaign and we ain't burning no witches. That's all I gotta say. You still doing a book club? Yes, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, it's not a you problem by any means. It's a my country problem. Sorry, dude you say press space to jump in the air yeah okay we definitely want the sticky bombs i've learned my lesson last night i was like i want the full auto one and you guys were like lacking critical info yeah brother i'm gonna have to be real with you i'm gonna have to go with this one 
the fucking flying purple people eaters are a fucking oh. nightmare, dude. How am I supposed to beat them? I don't understand. I definitely need this for them. Seems good. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, uh, certain demons, weak points, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Damn, you're tough. Oops. Oh, I died. Fuck. I had the wrong attachment on. Dang. So it begins. The taste of monster and the doom noises. I feel like I'm back at Howie's, dude. Round two, yeah. Alright, we have to play safer. I definitely will die if I don't pay attention. This is not a super forgiving game. Oh! Mamma mia! Alright, let's switch that out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Ah! Uh, no, 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 please let me out. Let me out. Ah! I need to fucking see. I need to see. I need to see. Uh... Oh, this is not smart. I need, I need the stuff. I need the goo. Give me the goo. Give me the goo. Fuck. God damn it. What kinds of games do you enjoy? Usually not this variety. I like like Minecraft and fucking uh, boring games. Civ, Dungeon of the Endless. I like boring stuff that like goes on forever. This is like not my normal cup of tea. Eat shit. All right. This fucking thing. Huh. Well. Okay. So the question mark is here? Oh no, that's a one up. Okay, so how do I get to that though? That's the real question. Um, <laughs> not that way, I don't think. Uh, well, I'm not gonna screw around with it too much. Yeah, what would you major in? Oh, that's a good question. What is stopping you from getting a degree yourself? Is the money and writing for others that good? No, it's just that it, it takes a lot more than like, I have to apply for loans and stuff. I have to go into debt. Like, I'm not willing to do all that shit and, like, risk, gamble away, like, my financial security and, like, my life away on a degree. If the degree was free in America, I would do it, yeah. I'd become a doctor or something, honestly. Um, the problem is it doesn't work like that. Like, I feel like I make a gamble for the sake of society that like could really fuck over my life. So fuck everybody else, bro. I'm not getting a degree and doing a real job. I'd rather do this. Um, cause I don't want to risk it. <laughs> but, uh, if college is free, I would definitely get a degree and do something interesting. Um, and as far as what I would major in, it would probably be, it would probably have to be psychology. I'm really good at psychology. Uh, maybe communications would be another cool one. It's a bit of a meme, but if the education was free, I might be interested in communication and maybe get some like counseling uh, certifications or something so that I could like help people. I think that would be cool. Honestly, I think like if you were to do Dr. K stuff, like get your degree, learn how to like help people like that and then do AOE, I think that that's a pretty dope way of doing things. Granted, I've been critical of, of him for doing the therapy online. I don't think the therapy should be done online, but I am of the opinion that like the AOE healing thing is smart. Anything else here? Oh, oh yeah. So I hope that answers your question. Just have poor parents, easy, work for me. Yeah, that's the thing is like my parents weren't poor enough and they didn't want to help with shit. They didn't want to co-sign anything. They didn't want to like 
Like, my parents were kind of shitters when it came time for college. They were so hyped about apply here and get in here and whatever, and then when it comes time to, like, co-sign for anything or help out, they're just fucking useless. So, I don't know. My parents kind of suck in that regard. Age of Empire's Healing? Area of Effect? Yeah, it, it's Area of Effect. Like, he wants to do, like healing multiple people at the same time so if i do uh oh hold on i have to run another ad break because you guys will get pre-rolls if i don't um let's see here yeah so as far as um as far as aoe basically the idea is that if he helps am i going backwards now if he helps people online and everybody can view the vod people might be able to get something out of it and they might see something that actually helps them with whatever they're working on and uh that's the idea is that by doing it online you're kind of you're you're giving like an aoe benefit to whoever watches that way a bunch of people could get a benefit out of it where the fuck am i going okay now i need the left alt wait where do i go this way and down i can't go that way and down Wait, what the fuck? Where am I supposed to go? I don't know how the how the hell I get down there. Oops. 115. I'm fucking lost, dude. I don't know what to do. Through here, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. I didn't get lost the first time. But you run through here. I feel like when I start looking for shit, that's when I get lost. When I'm not just like killing people and like running through it. Okay, so then you go down here. And then... They, I presume you can't go this way. Therefore, I don't know where to go. Use the map. I don't know how to use the map, Tardo. Uh, how do I do this? Run here, down here, through there. Hold up. Hold up. Let me fucking... This is like fucking Blender, dude. Alright. How the fuck do I get down here? I got so close. I saw the escalator, but apparently I didn't go down it. Alright, so I need to go forward here, find an escalator. Wait, what the fuck? Is this the escalator thing? Why... Why... Why, why would it be... Why would it be activated by walking near it? Why wouldn't this... What the fuck? Why wouldn't this just be on? That's silly. Whatever. How am I supposed to guess? Oh, man. I'm in fucked up. Oh, you got me fucked up. Oh, no. Oh, I got a second life. I got a second life. Oh, wait. Zoo, wait, mama. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. The cleansing of Earth is a necessary step. Ah! No! Free me! Let me be free! Give me this. What's this? All right, sticky bombs, fucking combat shotgun, precision bolt, micro missiles. Definitely want this. All right. So hold right click. All right. Um. Whoa! Watch your rhetoric. Yeah, I know. I have to. I have to work on that. Oh, this doesn't do shit. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. He can't shoot me, though. Oh, he can shoot me. What the fuck? Oh, my God. I'm, like, screaming, and I have neighbors. Hold on. <laughs> I need to be quiet. Um, damn. Dr. K has laid out a blueprint to follow if you want to do AoE smartening, I guess. That is true. You know, rat fucker. Thank you, Kaladin91, for the follow. Um, You know... Now that I'm thinking about it, rat fucker, you have a point. I never thought about this before. Hold up. I'm going to write this on the board. <laughs> Dr. K, Dr. K did the theory so I could do the praxis. That's what it is, dude. Landlady going to pay you another visit, right? Yeah, she's going to pick up her mail. Check. 
the neighbors called said you're being a crazy dumb fuck. All right, let's get past this point. <sighs> round two, uh, round two versus the Caco Demon. How long is this game? Do you think we could get through this in like a single sitting? If I'm like really, really good, I think it, I think it, the exponential growth that I'm having, I think I might be able to just smash through the rest of the game, like in one day, maybe. No, lol. <laughs> Am I getting a bit a little big for my britches here? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Wait, he's still alive? I killed it. Wait, why did it come back? Not being mean, it's just the long game. No, you're good, you're good. Hypothetically, sure. <laughs> Okay, so it's a long game. That's okay. That means plenty of content, dude. Granted, it's content I'm not sure a billion people want to see, but it's content nonetheless. I'll pad my hours, dude. Hi, Book Smarts. What up, Waldo? Good to have you, bro. A, a fellow wide people comfy uh, buddy. <laughs> Today we're playing a not so, not so comfy game. Uh, I normally don't play games, but, you know, I'm on Twitch.com, dude. I gotta get with the times. Hell yeah. How do you feel about Destiny saying that he's changing his argument style because the Booksmarts guy is going to analyze the shit out of that? I think it's pretty cool. I think that's one of the most flattering things I've heard him say in, in quite some time. So I'm happy with it, dude. Sounds pretty cool. Unlike the lefties, dude, I'm, I'm all about praxis, okay? So when people convert over to my thing, I don't fucking cry over spilt milk about how it happened. I just accept that, like, they're moving in my general direction and I'd be happy with it. I don't look a fucking gift horse in the mouth, you know what I mean? So that's where I'm at with it, lol. <laughs> Sounds like a win to me. Yeah, that's what I'm about. Like, I don't know. It's cool that he's taking it seriously. It's cool to think that like, I am like, uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 what would you call it? I'm like a tool in his mind or something, a filter through which he's trying to pass stuff. That's a, that's cool to me. I think that's part of the idea of like helping people and giving the critiques and whatever is that maybe I'll I'll be a consideration in their minds so that they behave a little bit better. Do I really have to only grenade this guy? Okay, no, never mind. How do you like the game so far? Uh, it's all right. It's um, I I imagine it gets more difficult over time. <laughs> I'll just say that. I imagine it gets tougher, but right now it's not too bad. It's not too difficult. It's like at a good level. Wait. Um. Wait. Can I jump here? Up there? I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, I can. Okay. Anything else I could do? Oh, I can go grab that. Anything else? Not looking like it. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember seeing Destiny play this game. Um, did you play Doom 2016? Nah. Why is that good? I think people are saying he's unnecessarily, that he's unnecessarily mean is getting to him. Hmm. Like, Destiny being unnecessarily mean is something he's reconsidering or, or what do you mean by that? He said after he doesn't hate you or anything. He was just memeing. Oh, yeah, I know that. Like, that's like his Sundere way of saying that like he cares about what my opinion is. Like, I get that much. That might be why I like the guy so much is like, I know it's awful and it's an annoying personality type, but I love Tsundere people. I love people that like 
will act like they don't care or whatever, and they like low key do. I love people like that. I don't know why. I'm like awful. But because he's like that, I love it. I'm constantly seeking that from him. It's awful, bro. It's a disgusting cycle. Him and Moot raced each other. Oh, that's cool. I liked it more, but they're both cool. All right. Let's rip you apart. And let's cut you up. We know book smarts type. Yeah. But I'm also into just people that are the exact opposite, that they're just fucking cute and they wear it on their sleeve that they like you all the time. It's got to be one or the other. I don't like guessing what you're about. I like knowing that you're faking it and constantly having in the back of my mind that you love me. You're just fucking, you're playing around. Or to just know that like you wear it on your sleeve and you actually like me. And when you're upset, you're upset. What, what did I just do? Um... Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Oh. <laughs> I think I did that the first time too, as I just jumped. Oh shit. And I'm starting this with low health. This is not good. This is a harder part. I remember this actually. Ah, give me the health, please. Please, boss. Give me the pussy, boss. Um, we know, but uh, we basically have the same taste. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a normal combination of taste. Pretty sure you're normal, dude. Forget about the future. Is to be present. It the fucking sound like the Buddhist and shit. To suffer is to be present. What's up with that? Ah! Yeah, give me that. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. Am I am I on the hard mode? <laughs> I just I just had to check, dude, because I'm fucking acing this game. What the hell? I think if you get on board with how the game wants to be played, it's not that bad. It does want to be played a very particular way. You know what it reminds me of a little bit? It reminds me of like Devil May Cry. Like Devil May Cry wants you to play in a certain way too. It wants you to combo stuff. It wants you to be jumping around. It wants you to think about like movement. It wants you to think about flocking people together or chaining like enemies that are far apart. Like it forces you to think in a different way. You have to play that game a particular way. This feels like that too. Wait, I don't have ammo? Oh. Give me that ammo, dude. Oh, I need ammo. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm, okay. <laughs> you know, I think I have it one second and then the next second I'm just, I'm flaming and memeing and not quite doing it as good as I could be doing it. Okay. Let's go get ready for round two here. I like how I lost all of the health that I gained. Are you fucking shitting me? I jump across this whole goddamn fucking valley of death and I fucking eat and I can't get a goddamn thing? This gotta be legendary mode. Bro, it's trying to fucking steal this game from me right now. That's so ridiculous. Big Mad was pretty bad. It's a meme stream for Destiny, but the last 10 minutes are just Big Mad trying to fumble through what fascism is. Yikes. Baited hard. I'd be kind of interested if you think there's a better way to handle somebody who's arguing in such bad faith. 
No, I just don't think you should talk to people you think are operating in bad faith because it, it puts you in a position where you're going to want to act bad faith in response. Um, and what really sucks is I think that most of the time, the advice is for you to act bad faith back. Like, but that that just gets into this tit for tat thing that's like not helping anybody. Like, maybe you just shouldn't have the conversation if in order to have it, you have to like act bad faith yourself. Like maybe that's the point where you go, okay, uh, I guess I'm not the one to have this conversation with this person. Because unless you can treat it good faith, I really don't think you should be doing it. Am I invincible when I'm hitting somebody in that mode? He stays really calm and argues well. I'm really happy to hear that. That makes me want to look at it. Oh, man. Can I chainsaw him? Nope, of course not. What the fuck am I supposed to do, dude? The fuel can. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But where is the fuel can? That's the fucking question. Can you review a David Pakman debate? I could review a David Pakman debate. I don't have a very high opinion of David Pakman, um, like debate wise. So maybe I should I should watch something of his. Maybe he's really good. Slam it, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna be slamming shit all day, bro. We about to have a slam fest, brother. Cause uh, I think I think this is starting to frustrate me. This part right here. Do you dislike D Pack or are you just not familiar with it? I don't dislike him at all. Um, I, I just don't know if he's like a strong person in terms of argument. Like I, I haven't ever seen him. Fuck, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit angry. <laughs> um, but no, um, I, I don't mind Deepak at all. I, I just, I haven't seen him ever argue very well. Thanks for the follow, dude. Ooh, 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 saw. David Packman, Richard Spencer, did. Wait. You, are you telling me the David Packman of Deepak fame? argued with Richard Spencer, the crazy guy? Wait, when did that happen? Slippery Spencer. I would be very interested to watch that. <laughs> Richard Spencer, wait, hold on. I kind of do want to watch this, dude. Yes, he did, live review. Interesting. It's official, I'm part of the private conversation club. <laughs> you can use all the emotes now, dude. Um, Interesting, but lo oh, yeah, if you have a debate of his you really enjoy that you think exemplifies his style really well, link it to me. Or if anything, put it in the votes, uh, the vote suggestions channel in the Discord. I check that all the time, guys. I say that all the time on stream, but honestly, I check that a lot. That's where I go. Interesting to see your head moving with the cam. I know. I got I got these boomer eyes, dude. I have to simulate the movement, otherwise I can't keep track. Oh man. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my mind, dude. I don't I don't wanna have to keep redoing this ten fucking times. Yeah. Alright. I have to be very careful with those shooty boys. I'm so low. Ah! What do I do here, dude? I, like, I, I, I don't know. Ha 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 ha. Watch the deep pack clip to calm down. Okay. <sighs> You're getting better. Doom is literally what I'd imagine Alex Jones's dreams. <laughs> This is what he dreams Biden's America looks like, dude. <laughs> when we get all the Bill Gates injections and we all turn to monsters. 
Here, let me check this out. All right, Streamlabs, whatever. Let's see, Slippery Spencer. Will you denounce Adolf Hitler? I heard you don't denounce Adolf Hitler when asked about that. Uh, Adolf, uh, national socialism was it was a it was a disaster. The 20th century was a pretty much a disaster. For yeah, but do you opinion. denounce the actions of Adolf gonna, Hitler? I'm not going to get. I'm not going to get. I'm not going to play this game. Oh, where it's not you a game. Throw out historical figures and I denounce them. I mean, do you denounce Stalin? Do you denounce Pol Pot? I mean, look. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will you denounce Adolf Hitler? <laughs> I remember this clip, bro. That's some good shit. That must, that's making me laugh so hard that I'm going to toss the rest of the chat into a 60-second ad break. That's amazing. That's some good shit, dude. Good chatting. Who was it that linked that? That's good stuff. G uh, GGC. Good job. Good job. Good to, good to have you here. The socialists have won. Uh, the the problem is I want the right kinds of socialists to win, right? That's why nobody's supporting Destiny right now. He's the wrong kind of lefty. Unfortunate, but true. Imagine not being so true. I have to play this so careful. Hold on. I, I want to thank whoever that was. Fresh Sale? Thank you for the tier one. I appreciate that. Try making some some of these noises the creatures make. <laughs> you guys fucking suck. I'm going to get fucking kicked out of my office. You guys are literally going to force me to move to Austin. Cause you're gonna fucking get me kicked out. I cannot believe that we're not winning this. Maybe I shouldn't push up. Maybe I should fight from that little doorway, honestly. Where the where the things are shooting back and forth. I think I'm gonna hang out there. <laughs> we're forcing him to move. Yeah, you kinda are. Kinda are. You're kicking me out of town, dude. Yeah, get fucked. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Alright. You fucking Goomba. I'ma knock your ass out. I'ma knock your ass back to the fucking sixth dimension, dude. You're gonna be sleeping with the fucking demons, dude. Night. The last thing you're gonna see is my fucking knuckle sandwich, dude. You gotta leave a fucking review on uh, Yelp. Let them know how good it was. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'll just do that. Jump back. Suppressing fire, suppressing fire. Let them come over here. Let them come! Oh! I can't do this, dude. This fucking sucks. God, this is so fucking hard. I need to kill the fucking shooty thing. That's what I need to do. God damn it, dude. I have to kill this ugly fucking brainiac looking fucking five head DGG viewer ass looking spider thing, dude. That's what I have to do first. I have to blow up his little tail, and then I need to shoot his ugly fucking face. God damn it. You're going to sleep with the demons. They are demons. They probably did before, did they not? Yeah, I'm returning them to their homeland, bro. I'm, I'm putting them back with their ancestors, dude. Just so you know, you don't get help from chainsawing enemies. Do you really not? Is that a thing? You don't get any help? Guys, I have to pick up my pizza that I ordered, but I'm naked. Should I just go naked? Yeah, that's how good porn starts, dude. What's up, dude? Ain't the only strategy in Doom to shoot things. Book, have you tried shooting things? 
Uh, uh, you're lucky I can't make the jokes I want to make. You're lucky I'm sober, dude. Otherwise, I'd fucking roast you right now. Lucky I'm sober. That's all I got to say about that one. You're lucky I'm in rhetoric mode. We'll put it that way. You're lucky I'm in rhetoric mode. Okay, let's... Hell yeah. You don't get any health from this, though, you guys said. Uh, so I have to be careful. Ah! No, please! Give me that. Alright. Um, 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 Booksmarts is so stressed that he's turned into a greaser. <sighs> you fucking goombas. Why did you... Uh, why this game, dude? It has to be this game. Oh, the jokes he would make if he was in private right now. <laughs> You're popping off with the chats today, GG. Are you a fucking... Uh, are you Destiny's alt, dude? Because you're, you're sounding pretty five head right now. This shit needs to stop. This shit needs to stop. And if it takes essay coaches with grenade launchers mowing down dipshit demons at this point, then they have my fucking blessing. <laughs> the dude can make a good copy pasta. That's for damn sure. People should just follow Destiny around and turn what he says into copy pastas. Whoever does that, they're going to make the big money. Monetizes the way that he talks. It does kind of suck that that clip has costed him so much stuff. I guess a little unfortunate. Better smash. Better smash, y'all right? Now I cannot shoot from here. Whoops. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Now we need to take care of you. All right, all right. So many people took that clip and interpreted it as all protesters. Su sucks that there's so much bad faith. You know what? That's not their fault, dude. When you are literally telling people they should go mow people down, it doesn't matter if it's rioters or arsonists or whatever the fuck. When you're a big person and you literally go on and you tell people to go kill other people and to mow them down, it's going to get pressed. It doesn't matter if he said protesters or rioters or arsonists or whatever. I, I really do feel that like... It doesn't matter how many of those words we change. It's just like, it, it's a really bad clip. Just like from the tone to like the context to the when it happened to who he's talking about. It would, I like, I know he says maybe if I would have said protester or arsonist, it may have made it better. And I do agree to an extent. But man, the whole way it was structured in the context of it isn't even good. Um, like, 
especially since he's saying it to Viv, and Viv was pretty calm for like the whole debate. I say pretty. Viv was calm the whole debate. So I mean, like it, it, it looks really weird even in context. He just like kind of snaps. Um, can't really blame anyone from not wanting to associate with him after seeing it. I don't know about that, but I, w I will say it's not a good clip. He should not have said Mo down. I, again, you you change Mo down, it doesn't matter. He could have said, uh, you know, uh. lay out. He could he could have said a million other ways. It's definitely a this might theoretically be defensible situation, but it was a bad thing to say. Yeah, and unlike incest, there's like people we can point to that are dying and getting hurt and stuff. Like this was following Rittenhouse stuff. I swear to God, if I die to somebody who's fucking ten gazillion fucking feet away, I'm gonna freak. I better have a checkpoint. I better have a checkpoint. I better have a fucking checkpoint. That's all I gotta say. I better not be starting back at the goddamn mall. <laughs> I don't I don't want to do I don't want to do this <laughs> Why is it set up this way? Go ahead. I dare you. I dare you to pop this fucking corner, dude. I fucking dare you. I dare you. Oh! What? What am I getting hurt by? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah! I don't get any help from this, huh? Oh. I just... I can't, dude. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I, I hate that if, if you don't have health, there's no way to get past this. But I lose my health almost immediately. So we have one enemy up here. We have one enemy down here. Both of them will start shooting at me. I probably need to take care of him first. So right, top. But then they shoot over the thing. People jump over. I need to do middle mouse button. Um, I may be able to melee after the middle mouse button. I don't know. I'm like, I'm trying to Jimmy Neutron fucking think my way through this now. Now I'm gonna have to fucking strategize. This isn't a game anymore, dude. This is a goddamn real-time strategy. Holy fuck. So I see what you're saying. Woohoo! We just have to Rochambeau! That is the trick. The trick is to not care. It's like dating. Oh! Get fucked! Oh, you want a little bit more? Huh? You didn't have enough? The con maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. That's the solution, I suppose, yeah. Only melee if you're close, otherwise use shotgun in this situation. Ah, okay, okay. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there That's is a, a lift big time win for us. Facility. That was such a long winded. You earn that kindy stone. Yeah, I know it's not any good to be drinking this, but 
I'm also very, very tired. Again, I played this game till like 4 a.m. yesterday. I didn't get home till about then. And then I tried to sleep, and then the van gets hot at like 10 or 11 a.m., and I'm back up at it. Because uh, I can't keep sleeping in the van once the sun comes up. It gets really, really hot inside. It gets like hot and stuffy. It feels like I'm like suffocating. The uh, is at this there's actually a lot of strategy of this game. Name, He's just not using it. By all accounts, indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. Whatever. Van. Yeah, I know. Well, you know. I think I'll be a pro streamer soon, bro. I feel like I'm a pro streamer. I'll have that money soon. Oh, we don't gotta worry about. It. We just gotta keep putting out good content. Have fun with you guys. Uh, Everything else will come. I believe in it. I think I'm cool. I think people will come and hang out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Some people are boring as fuck. I don't think I'm boring as fuck. I've seen other people on this platform. I'm pretty sure that I could I could make a thing out of this if I just keep at it, to be honest. I, do not have the I gotta to meet more big streamer people, race. though. And not just, like, Destiny and stuff. A component. I think that's, like, a huge component to it. No joke, people seem really attracted to your debate review content. A lot of potential there. Yeah, and I probably, like, the main the main problem with that is I don't know if I should lean into the performative element at the cost of, like, being correct all the time because you will, like, overextend and stuff if you keep doing it that way. Um, press R to set enemies on fire. So, like, that's my main concern is that... Uh, is that you start to not be correct when you're like being hyperbolic all the time. But uh, the Twitch audience wants me to do that. I don't think the Twitch audience wants me to do the line by line shit. Uh, I think I can attract more people by being over the top. Um, isn't most of the political stuff interesting because it is really spicy? Yeah, dude, maybe. Like, yeah, maybe like, like that's kind of the conclusion that I came to as well is like, eh, people expect this. So I have to do it in a way where, like, I'm cool with it. Um, oh, yeah, this is super chill and fun. Uh, what Peace Squared says, sometimes you're like, I don't want to review this debate if it's trash, but I kind of think you should if it doesn't take too much out of you. Mm. Don't think that there are many viewers in quote-unquote good debate content. Isn't most of the political stuff? Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. No joke, people seem really attracted to your debate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here because of your rhetorical analysis of Demon Mama and the Vosh one that I watched after it. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, yeah, okay. So, viewer that's talking that about how you watched Vosh, the Vosh review after, didn't you see that there was a huge difference between the Vosh review and this one? Like, didn't you see that in the Vosh review, there's a lot more, like, line-by-line -line stuff? That's what takes forever to do. That's what stresses me out the most, is that line-by-line -line shit. Um... Because to know I'm 100% correct, I have to do it line by line and look at it that way. Um, but I'm starting to see that on the spectrum of 100% correct and like entertaining, people way more lean towards entertaining. They don't really care about this. They're like, even if you're only 80% correct, if you're like 80% funny, that's good enough for me, brother. Because 80% being correct is more than a lot of people on the website. Like, I feel like a lot of people on the website just fucking suck. Uh, <laughs> so I feel like any like anything I come up with is probably better than most of the other review people. It's probably more based because I have a different way of looking at things and I try to stick to it. And I think like that's what I've learned from Destiny is sticking to um, what like what you're using to evaluate things is what creates like based i think like you have to have your own personal taste you have to understand those really well and then like lean into them even when other people are asking you not to so like even if you guys were like yeah but book smarts don't you think x and don't you think y and don't you think z like if those aren't key things that i care about i have to be real to them i think that's what destiny's taught me um but beyond that i think he's also taught me that like you know, you can have substance be the attract, the appeal of your brand, but the reality is that moment to moment, the content needs to be content. You have to be entertaining. So no matter what, I feel like the entertainment is the, the big thing there. 
and he's definitely entertaining so like there's a lot of stuff that i'm trying to like take away from different big streamers and to like figure out what it is that's going on with all that i i probably should watch debates even if they're bad that's a good point i mean you change your approach quite a bit for the demon Mom, uh demon mama review too being a lot more aggro true and part of the reason that I went more aggro is I think both of these are like debate bro people engaged in debate bro culture. So I feel like being a debate bro about my review is probably fitting in with the tone. Maybe that's what I should do when we have shit fiesta or clown fiestas. Like if you guys link me something that's all drama and is all craziness, maybe that's my opportunity to be a crazy drama guy. And then when somebody is actually trying really hard to convince somebody, maybe I should change my tone to match that and pick somebody whose perspective I'll watch the debate from. Because here's the other thing. Um, for a book smarts analysis, when they're really, really good, what I tend to do for the analyses is I watch it through one time from one person's perspective, one time from the other person's perspective, and then a third time, usually at the very beginning, from my own so that I can like have an audience perspective. Um, and I, I combine all of those along with the line by line analysis to figure out what the hell happened in that debate. Because once I have all of the notes for all of that in front of me, it becomes a lot like simpler to be like oh okay this is what happened and this is why it happened and whatever um but boy oh boy does that fucking take forever and i'm not necessarily getting paid for all the prep i'm getting paid for being entertaining and stuff so i've just i've really started to rethink that and though i know some people appreciate it i don't know if they like i know they appreciate it like they like the content but i think their palette isn't tuned enough to pick up all the minutia of the of the detail work i'm putting in there and for the few people that do have that palette i don't think they're the ones i should be catering to i really think for most people they're just as happy with like a mcdonald's burger as they are like uh an in and out burger right so like i shouldn't really think about making the burger the best quality i should just go for what people are expecting um and what will bring the most people what can the most people enjoy because i don't think the most people can enjoy me being like five head and stuff and like going through it like that because the other thing is for the normal audience that doesn't care that I put in all that work, they criticize me exactly the same as they would if I was a dumb fuck that like didn't do any research. So it's like, it's kind of frustrating in that regard too. Like I see you guys defend me in threads by being like, you know, this guy like looks at everything line by line and stuff. Like you may be surprised, but he actually like, he's not a normal person. He puts a bunch of time into this stuff. Um, and I appreciate that, but you know, if people are gonna be that way, maybe it's not worth like putting all the time into it. Or it's worth putting that time in later when I have like, when I can afford to pay for people to like edit the videos and like do all the other work. Maybe at that point, then I can like start to work on, um, I can start to work on more like quality stuff and I can go back to that. Cause I have a whole old queue of like good level content that if people really, if people really want it, they can they can do that. <laughs> Maybe offer the more in-depth analysis is something streamers can pay you to do. Yeah, that'd be cool. The streamers don't really want to pay for that stuff, though. Because remember, and this is something I thought at the start, too. I thought streamers will want to pay for this. No, because you want to know why? Streamers are on here to make content. And I don't tell you how to make better content. I tell you how to argue better, how to be more logical, how to be rhetorically sound. And they don't care about that shit, dude. They don't care because that's not making them more money. If anything, it takes away from their money. If anything, somebody like Destiny is like, Booksmarts, if I fucking Thanos snapped all of your like, you know, critiques and I, and I followed all of them, my stream would be so fucking boring that people wouldn't watch me anymore. I bet that's what he thinks. So if that's the case, it, I don't think they're, they really value it the way that you think or the way that I thought. Um, it doesn't really work like that. Why would they? It wouldn't benefit them. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it would only benefit them if they cared about it. Like... Like the only way that it matters to them is if it's benefiting their content in some way or if they intrinsically care ab about being rhetorically sound like Destiny does. Like I think he honestly just cares about being correct about stuff. And so there's a little part of him that even if he's being a shitter, even if it's for like the brand and whatever, I really do think that he knows better. I really do think that he wants to not be like that. 
and he wants to walk a line that's a lot, you know, a lot more clear than it is currently. Like, I think he wants to be more on the side of, like, good rhetoric. Where to blame? I mean, maybe, dude. But that's like saying you're to blame because you buy cars and cars pollute everything. Like, I don't know if it's, like, all on you, and I don't even know if it's helpful to think about it that way. Runes enhance your abilities. I think people underestimate how much he does it because he finds it fun. He, he doesn't really usually do the whole chasing beers thing. No, he doesn't. He really does it because he thinks it's fun for him. But he will make sure it's fun for the viewers. Like, I think you guys downplay that aspect of him quite a bit. Um, like, um, hmm. can I talk about this? This is in private. Um, yeah, I can, because I can be general about it. Um, I, after, like, hanging out with bigger creators and seeing the way that they stay on top of their Reddit and their Discord and, like, everything else, like, I, I kind of started to realize that, like, no they really do care about and stay on top of what people think about them, what they're saying, what's working, what's not working, what's getting attention, what's not getting attention. Like um, the creators that are bigger are very much in tune to what people like and don't like. And I've gotten that from my private conversations with almost like every big streamer that I've spoken with. They all, they all are tuned into what people want. And I, I don't think you can be that tuned into that and not let it influence your behavior. So um, oops. So I, I would say that like, no, they definitely do keep that in the forefront of their mind. I think that's worth like remembering for you guys as viewers. Um, can I get, can I escape now? Content creator market forces. They're all greedy capitalists. Yeah, a little bit. But hey, you know, I, I, I mean, like, at least Steven, he's worked a normal job. He's, he knows what it's like on the other fucking side of things. He doesn't want to go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, of course, he, he's going to, like, try to keep on to this as long as he can. Every content creator is like that. They have a really cool job. So I don't blame them for wanting to keep it, wanting to make the most money out of it while they can, because it could end tomorrow. Like, look at Destiny. You say one wrong thing and you could be fucked, dude, for forever. It doesn't matter how many times you argued in favor of trans this or whatever this. Like, everybody's looking to get something out of you. Even me, when I'm when I'm insulting him during a review, like, I'm getting something out of that. I'm, I'm entertaining a bunch of my viewers and whatever. Everybody is looking to, like, get something out of these people. And especially Destiny, he's, like, constantly trying to keep that in mind. When you guys are talking about how people fuck over Destiny and you should be, like, more sympathetic to him because of that like i definitely am just in a different way than the viewers seem to like think about it um but it's definitely something i keep on the forefront of my mind that's why it does feel bad to like uh fuck there goes the armor i just got uh it is very difficult to walk that line though of like nah he can get made fun of here so it's probably okay but at the same time like He's been very helpful to my career. I don't want to do anything that like possibly threatens his livelihood or whatever. Like, I don't I don't want to say something that could get him canceled. I don't want to like harp on something that ends up being drama that fucking costs him his job. Um, that's the kind of shit that I worry about, that I say something in a debate review and it ends up being that way. But I don't think I can worry about that, really. Like, if he performs poorly, he performs poorly and it is what it is, but like, uh, it's so difficult. Um, like, I've had a tough time navigating that sort of stuff as a creator, especially one that critiques others. Like, um, it, it's it's a difficult line to walk. I don't think I have it figured out yet. I forget I have this movement thing. Oh, I got brought back. Yay. I need to chainsaw somebody. Oh, I remember this. I definitely remember this. <laughs> Conde, uh, I'm a Destiny viewer. You also entertain me with that. You mean what Vosh or people close to him did? Yeah, shit like that. Like, I don't want to fucking kick somebody while they're down and like cause them to lose all their shit. Like, that's kind of fucked up. 
And the problem is, like, the viewers want to copy you. The viewers want to, like, be cool by you. So if they think what's cool is to make fun of Destiny, then they all start making fun of Destiny. And they get to interpret what making fun of Destiny is in their own way. They may think that the okay way to make fun of Destiny is to uh, try to take his fucking job away from them. They may be fucking nutty people that have nothing better to do in their life. Um, and if that's the case, then I, I sent those people after him. And though I don't have control over their individual actions, I did have control over the rallying cries. So, man, it's, it's such a difficult thing to think about. Like, rhetoric, when you're a creator and you're dealing with other creators and you're trying to figure out how to criticize them, it, I find that to be very difficult for me. If your critique of Destiny is so good you take him down, I'm pretty sure you have to become the new Destiny. <laughs> is that the code laid out by Demon Mama? Is that how it works now? I think I need it. <laughs> I died! I didn't think I would come back! <laughs> this game's hard. Too much air control. Yeah, maybe I don't need air control, dude. I'm kind of, uh, it's a little too much for me to control. Um. Well, to cut you some slack, you also have to remember that Destiny is in the public space for years now. It should be up to him not to give you something that could actually cancel him. Yeah, but that's the thing, is what he gave out, like, let's say that Destiny says something that's awful, okay? And nobody covers it, right? Uh, it, it's like if a forest falls, uh, if a tree falls in the forest, no one's around to hear it, right? But if I choose to highlight that and i make a 30 minute joke where i'm like making it up to be something awful and then somebody sees that they agree with my sentiment and then they're like oh i'm gonna write a tweet about this clip of destiny except i'm going to write it in a very different way than what book smart said i actually think book smart said he's being a dick i think he's being a nazi and if they write that shit right that's what I'm talking about. In a world where I never touched that information, it would have never cost him anything. But in a world where I did cover it, it costed him everything. That's the kind of stuff that I worry about. Same with people. Like, let's say, let's say the Demon Mama had a really bad debate with Destiny like that. And let's say the Demon Mama was really bummed out about it. But nobody gave her any shit about it. And then I do a review. And then people like bug the shit out of Demon Mama. And it depresses her. And she quits. And she leaves the platform and shit. I'm not like Destiny. I will not tell you guys that I want to bully people off of the fucking platform. I'm not like that. That's not what I'm about right now. So like the idea that I could cause that is scary to me. And it's definitely something that I try to keep in mind. Hey, Book Smarts. What's up, Max? Yeah, I agree. You're right. I was just trying to play, play the devil's advocate. No, nah, you're good. You're good. I don't have the fucking bullets to kill this guy. I don't have anything in my shotgun. I need I need shotgun shells. Hold up. When his view count is 1k plus, he will be. <laughs> yeah, maybe, dude. Maybe I'll turn into a Hasanabi, dude. I'll just fucking grift all day. That'll be my new job. I'll wear socialism like a fucking fashion statement, dude. That's what I'll do. Okay, I definitely need more ammo. I need shotgun ammo. Because I, I can't kill that thing without the shotgun ammo, I don't think. Ah. Oh. This is, this is a bit difficult. Anyway, I think you won't become a big content creator known for your incredible Doom skills. <laughs> yeah, I probably won't be a gaming streamer. Yeah, that's the play. That's the play. Oh, too close. God damn it. The Dr. K of rhetorics. Let's make it a thing. Relationship advice stream. Is this the best way to please a woman? Whichever way she wants, bro. That's the way. You listen to her, bro. Bitches love it when you listen. <laughs> that's, that's the trick, dude. All you have to do is listen. They'll tell you. Believe me. They'll tell you whatever it is that they want. You just got to listen. That's all. Actually, genuinely good advice. It sounds cliche, but honest to God, if I had to like give you advice, that's probably what it would be. You just have to listen to people. Whether you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. People like it when you listen to them. Oh. 
Oh, I, I, I get a... I'm like baby raging for no reason. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. There we go. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. Que pinche puta. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Toco. Toco. Toco desca. Mienezo. Oh, soco. I got baited. I got baited. I got baited. Oh, 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 oh. Give me. Give me the move. Yeah. yeah, get out of here. Booksmarts play like a person in an ad dodging bullets IRL. <sighs> return to monk. To monkey. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what we got to do, bro. We got to return to the monkey. This game's too hard. <laughs> Activate the monkey. But me, we need more pre-broke Booksmarts lore. Seemed like you were living the life. Yeah, I was. I was traveling the world and stuff. Then I came here, smoked a bunch of weed, and blew all my money. Kind of unfortunate. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much it, dude. That's the TLDR. I relaxed for too long. I let my business go to poop. I had a really good business, making a lot of money, but. I wanted that four hour work week and shit. And then I realized if you don't work all day, there's nothing for you to do. It's kind of boring. Like you kind of, you, you aren't working for anything. So it's like life gets boring and you think you want to self improve or whatever, but you ain't the fucking Buddha, duh, bruh. Who cares? As far as you know, you got this one life. And if you're going to waste the whole thing trying to improve, I don't know. That sounds kind of uh, lame. Dr. K wouldn't agree with that, but. What was your favorite place to visit? Hong Kong. Hong Kong is really fucking cool. I really like Hong Kong. It's it's a very interesting place. Very unique. Uh, I let him get too close. I need to kill him way sooner. Self-improvement is self-masturbation by Tyler Durden. Well, I'm not fucking Tyler Durden, dude, but... Like, I don't know. I just think it's, if you don't get satisfied from that, then you don't get satisfied from that. Like, I don't. Everybody else is so fucking awful that I feel like I'm always ahead of the game in terms of, like, where I'm at with stuff. So, as long as I'm ahead of everybody else, I think I'm pretty okay. But that's the same destiny logic that lets him be an asshole. So, maybe I should, like, chill out on that. And get better. And get good. Man, I'm not in a good spot this the beginning of this one. I don't know. I'm not my cup of tea. Fuck, dude. I need to take this seriously. I need to stop talking to you guys. <laughs> 
I need to stop talking, you dumb fucks, bro. I need to get past this point. You guys are watching the same thing on loop. I just, I just need to get past this part. Just this one part. The first broke book smarts law will be glorious. Yeah. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the money. The five dollars from P squared. Thank you, dude. We're looping. You're playing on the hardest difficulty, right, Mr. Books? Hell yeah, bro, naturally. All right, where am I going from here? We got somebody here. Whoop. Okay. We got you. Two. There we go. Take care of him. All right. Take care of him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't get any health from this. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Yeah, give me that shit. All right, all right, all right. We're good, we're good. I keep trying to like shoot fire on them and I can't. Because I want the armor, but. I, I need to do something here. I think this is health. Yes. Oh! Big money. Big money. We did it. Read me. We're loping. Been to any African countries? No. Just, just Asian countries. Uh, okay. Arsenal tabs, sticky bombs. We definitely want to upgrade those sticky bombs. Have you been to communist China? Yeah, I have. Uh, China is really crazy. Like um, when you fly in on the airplane and you're going into one of their cities, what blew me away is the scale of China that for as far as the eye can see, there's like rolling hills and mountains just covered in like 10 to 20 story buildings. Like as someone from America, which is relatively flat because we have so much land, we don't need to build like a ton of tall buildings all the time. China blew me away that every building was so fucking tall and it just stretches as far as the eye can see. Just the idea of the scale of it really blew me away. That's something I remember about landing in China. Just looking out from the airplane and seeing that as far as the eye can see, it's just like rolling hills of buildings and they all have people and they're all houses and like factories and whatever. Like it's crazy to think about. Huge industry, by the way. Sugoi. Yeah, kind of Sugoi, dude. Uh, did it feel super congested? I didn't spend a lot of time like in China. I spent time in Hong Kong and that's about it. Like I didn't leave the airport when I was in China. Guess I jump onto this. Um, so earth is flat because those tall buildings should hide behind the curve. True, true. Glad to see we have some five heads in chat today. Some people who see through the round earth nonsense, dude. Cut through the BS. All right, where are we? Do what are we doing now? Why are you here? I don't care about the story, dude. I'm here to kick ass and make messes. Were you in Wuhan in late 2019? I'm suspicious. No, I was not. 
I was not. It was actually quite some time ago that I was in Asia. You know, if streaming took off, I'd probably just move back abroad. Like, I would probably keep a house here, but I would probably move abroad. Is this the same bullshit that I was playing two seconds ago, bruh? Oh, no, no, there's lightning on the ground. My bad. Totally different. Totally different. You been to Japan? Hell yeah, dude. I lived there for like a month. And I worked in Japan. Um, I worked at like a hostel for a little bit. I like cleaned all the shit and whatever. It's kind of fun. That's one thing I would advise young people to do is go do like a work away in a different country. I think that's cool. Especially if it's a country with like a different work ethic than your own. Like after seeing how the Japanese do service work, I had like a new standard for like how nice you could be, how like how much you can care about the customer, what that really means and looks like. Like, I don't know. It gave me a lot of respect for those kinds of jobs and stuff. I saw that you could like do something really crazy with it. Because the Japanese take that shit way seriously. There we go. Can I get another kind of enemy, please? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh... I don't know what to do here. I can't, I can't, I can't chainsaw him. Huh. Hold on, are there any other enemies? Oh, they're there. Ah! I really cannot be wasting this ammunition. Oh. Oh. Give me that health. Please, please don't start me over. <laughs> Papa, please, please don't start me over, please. Please, 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 please. Thank God. <laughs> that guy takes a gazillion bullets to kill. Why did you restart? Miss yesterday. Um, I just wanted to try it out yesterday and I was really, uh, I wasn't doing it all on hardcore either, like the hardest core difficulty. What's your take on the blind playthrough thing? You know what's funny? Uh, yeah, yet again, we, we, we hit a fork in the road where I can I can decide to, to handle the blind thing in one of two ways. So um, one, one perspective that I think is really valuable is the one where like Destiny said it himself, like, okay, well, if blind playthrough, does that also mean that we don't want to like say deafen on Discord or mute or like whatever? Like, I think, yes, I think that's what the goal of SJW shit is, right? It's to sniff out everything that can make like disabled people and stuff uncomfortable and to like get rid of it and to start identifying the way that like social things that we do have effects on people that we may not be measuring like accurately like we might not realize that like people feel a certain way about certain terms and whatever and we're trying to raise awareness like that's what i thought the purpose was so from that perspective yeah we don't want the blind playthrough thing but i think that that's dumb personally like like i think it's like a good idea like uh, uh, one thing i like to think of is like when i'm sick and I have to go to Target and I need to get a bunch of stuff. I really am happy that they have things like chairs that I can sit on when I'm super duper tired and drained. Or they have tissues out so that if I if I have a runny nose, I don't fucking sniffle the whole time. Like, I think that there is benefit to recognize when people uh, have disabilities, whether that's because they're sick or they're in a wheelchair or they have a problem with their brain or whatever the fuck. And to like cater to that a little bit, to make it to our like daily life doesn't fucking suck for them. So if you're somebody in a wheelchair, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it should work out so that like you can't go places or you show up somewhere and you have to think like, do they have access for me? Will I be okay? Or if you have Crohn's disease and you're worried about going to the bathroom all the time, I think there should be enough bathrooms for you so you don't have to worry about that kind of shit. Like <laughs> that kind of shit, literally. But like, um, like, uh, so I, I kind of agree with the SJWs in that regard. I just think they're, 
you take it too far, but I don't know what too far is. I don't even know if the blind playthrough thing is too far. Are we going too far by like attacking them about that? Like we may be like honest to God. If I like, I think, I think you're kind of being a dick. Like if the company wants to go through and they want to like change the name, that's kind of cool. That's whatever. But like when you make fun of them for doing it and when you're like, that's stupid and it's pandering and whatever, it's like, Damn, bro. Th isn't this the same argument that Destiny gives when he's like, why do you freak out when they put women in a video game? Like, if anything, you should be indifferent to it because it, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I think being upset about it is the cringe thing. I think being upset about it is the problem because then if there's any blind person that's like, oh, that's kind of cool that they thought about me and they, they don't want to do that. Maybe I'm offended by it. Maybe I'm not. But like, it is cool that they're thinking about me. And then you jump in and you're like, fuck blind people. Stop pandering these disabled fucks. And like, you're being like an asshole about it. I think that you do a bunch of damage to blind people that wouldn't have happened that way. So like, I don't know. I don't think responding to it as an asshole is the right way of handling it. But I don't necessarily agree that everybody should be held to the standard where they need to worry about shit like that. But if a company chooses to, then no. that's their deal. John, I've gotten DM from multiple people telling me that you're in here disrespecting. I've watched this. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, dude. I think they're both memeing in that one. <laughs> yes, give me that, give me that, give me that. <laughs> There's too many of them. I think I need to group them up. I need to fire them. I need to use the, the grenade launcher. Okay. Group up, fire, grenade launcher, 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 group up, fire, grenade launcher. Okay. I think that's the play here. I think I got to group them up. I got to put them on fire and then I got to use the grenade launcher. Is special relativity, special relativity equal metaphysics? I don't fucking know, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not a goddamn physician. Uh, well, the difference is that they remove something I would say is a useful term without any ethical foundation. They do have an ethical foundation. It's for blind people, you asshole. I don't know about that. You talking about this blind people aren't worth a damn thing. Like, that's kind of fucked, dude. I don't know about that. All right, I need to group them up. I need to shoot my thing. I'm just gonna run over here. Fuck them. Oh yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Oh yeah. stuff down here yeah give me that shit all right oh the fire things that's what i'm not paying attention to okay those definitely do damage so ah no are freaking out dude this is hard i do care about blind people i don't think the term blind playthrough hurts them in any way no it's just meant to be more inclusive bro it's meant to be like hey this term could 
do this, so we're just not gonna do it. You look like a dummy for attacking them about it. That's what I'm saying. Is like, it's whatever. If the company wants to do it, that's fine. But when you start making fun of them for doing it because they're just trying to be considerate, I think that's silly. Even if they miss the mark, even if you don't think it does damage, I think it's like a waste of breath to attack them for it because, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Who cares what I think about that, dude? I'm not an SJW. I don't know about that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Does that do no damage against this guy? Why is he so strong? Oh! Flying purple people eater. Can I dash? I hit E, please, dude, just let me do my thing. God damn it, dude. This is another point where we're gonna get stuck. C word, I didn't say the C word. Oh yeah, sure, I'm just interested if anyone has any arguments for the opposing side. No, I, that, that's the thing is there's no point to have opposing sides in that. They're literally just trying to help people out. So when you're shitting on them for it, it's silly. When you're like, debate me, I don't think that's a real thing. It's like, you're wasting your breath. Why choose this issue of all the things that you could debate about, of all the things that you could get pushed back on? I don't think this is the one, chief. I just think that's a stupid hill to argue about. Like, whatever. If they do it, they do it. Whatever. But I don't think you should be debating people about whether or not it hurts blind people. That's stupid. In much the same way, you shouldn't be fighting about whether or not trans people are hurt by calling them mentally ill. If somebody points that out, I don't think it's a big deal to just not do it. But that's the difference between me and other people. Other people like arguing about that shit. I don't. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> so, maybe in that way, I am a little bit different. I'm built different, dude. Crazy is on the list of ableist language, by the way. That's what I was referencing. Well, we all have to make decisions, right? You can make fun of blind people. I can make fun of crazy people. We'll each have our thing. He takes so much damage. Yes. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. You really have to like play against their weaknesses, huh? You cannot just Rochambeau these guys. Get booked, fucker. Oh my god, every time that follow notification comes on, I think that I think that he joined into into like a Discord call that I don't know I'm in. <laughs> hey, book fucker. Like <laughs> Love that gulp sound. <laughs> I absolutely think you can argue and that you should avoid calling trans people mentally ill. Sorry, I'm gonna stop arguing. Yeah, I uh, yeah. I don't know, bro. I just don't think it's something worth arguing about, you know? I think the face that you would lose in arguing it's not worth it. It doesn't make any sense. You're not you're not gaining anything out of arguing against that. So I tend to avoid things that I have no gain out of arguing. In that regard, maybe I'm similar to Steven. If there's no benefit for me, bro, why are we playing that game? Like, I, I don't think there's a point in arguing that stuff. Uh, if I'm just being honest, it's just one of those things. Ooh, how do I get in there? Ah. Tai. Underneath. Okay. Okay. I need to go underneath to get to that. I don't know how that works though. Down here? No, 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 no. Doesn't appear to be a way in there. Wait, that's so lame. There has to be a way. Ugh, what's in here? What? What the fuck? Hold up. Okay. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. I can't jump. I can't, I can't jump. Damn, bro, this is getting scary. I don't know about this. <laughs> I have a problem with the way slave is used. They were kidnapped prisoners. Yeah, it's kind of fucked. Ah, uh, Destiny's had silly takes on stuff like this before. Argued against removing master slave language. Interesting. Oh shit. All right, where am I? I think we're okay. Oh, we get a bunch of stuff. I kind of want this. What's the difference between master and sensei? What the fuck? Change it to daddy dom and little girl. <laughs> there is a sentinel power Change it to daddy and princess. The daddy class talks to the princess class and it tells it. <laughs> What the fuck? Come on now. Hey, what do I do? What do I do? Oh shit, this is a giant hand. I was trying to get into there. Wait, what do I do? Okay. Is one in English? Oh, the blast. Wait, do I use the blast to blow this open? Wait, what do I do? Big glowing thing. <laughs> you got, what the fuck do you mean big glowing thing? You stupid fuck? I don't know what that means. Maybe I'm the stupid fuck, actually. Bro, do I have to go up there? I'm so lost. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, yeah. Okay, so obtain the celestial power core and locate the betrayer. What the fuck does that even mean? You guys keep saying big glowing... Maybe the big glowing circle at the back of the hand? Yeah, but what do I do with that? That doesn't tell me anything. Oh. <laughs> okay, you were right. <laughs> Statistician over here. <laughs> Oh shit. Get fucked. Yeah, get fucked. Did I blow myself up? I'm so confused. Rent out part of your van to Irrelevant. He's moving to California. Okay. Maybe I'll consider it, dude. <laughs> Call up Rally. Hey, Rally. I hear you're a bit of a hikikomori. I got an interesting setup for you. I, there's no internet in the van. Maybe if there was, he'd be down. If it was like a fancy like uh, like techno van. I think he w he might be down for that. Okay, well, that's okay. I think I get health back. Not the biggest. Well, now it's a problem, okay? You cannot. <laughs> no! 
I cannot believe I fucking tossed myself in lava. I don't even know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing either, dude. Hey, Book, the lava hurts you, I think. Yeah, as it turns out, dude. As it turns out, also makes me spawn right back on top of the guy. It's kind of amazing how it's designed like that. Incredible, dude. Incredible. I think I need to also use that flame belt. I think that's why it's telling me that. I need some armor. Pro stress. The foot in the eye move is almost like when Destiny puts his foot in his mouth. <laughs> is this the bully Destiny stream? You guys are just hanging out here because I make fun of Destiny? It's kind of crazy. Kind of, kind of fucky. <gasps> Not gonna lie. That was a bad idea. That book fucker. That book fucker. <laughs> Cerebus, thanks for the follow. <laughs> that freaks me out, dude. Book fucker. <sighs> How are you, book fucker? I'm doing pretty good, dude. I'm doing pretty good. I'm happy about that clip. That's some good shit. I'm happy he's considering things, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy he's... uh. I'm a voice in his head. I'm happy. I, I'm living rent free. I guess that's kind of cool. Okay, let's see. I spy with my little eye. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> How is my JFK impression? Does it sound at all like JFK? I spy with my little eye. <laughs> That's one of my favorites, so if it sounds bad, I'm gonna feel bad, dude. Oh. Alright, I need this. I need this. Jump up here, go over here. Pretty good? Okay, good. I like JFK. Seems like an alright guy. Bro? He takes so many hits. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is so fucking hard. You gotta hold your breath when you pull the trigger, my dude. Don't think that's the correct rhetoric for keeping him playing. Yeah, don't tell me that shit, bro. Don't tell me it gets hard. It gets harder. Hey, what's my? Can you believe that the game you just started today gets harder at the end? No, bro. That's fucking crazy. I thought it would just get progressively easier the longer I played it, bro. Honest. Thought they would start out hard and get easy. My bad. That's normally how it works, right? All right. Woohoo! Chocolate. I thought that was a bad miss. Alright, I gotta stay away from the bruiser guy because he'll mess me up. Ah! I did the opposite. I did not stay away from him. I hope there's still a health pack back here. I grabbed it, didn't I? Fuck. Well, well, it could get worse. It could definitely get worse. And it could get better, apparently. All right, all right, all right. This fucking guy. Ah, uh, um. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm starting to get sick of this game. I, I'm really, I'm starting to get sick of it a little bit. I'm start, I'm starting to not like it. Greetings, book fucker. What's up, dude? All right, I'm starting to feel the moot, dude. I'm kind of feeling like quitting. Uh, I'm not really having a lot of fun with this. Elf. Ah, purple people eater. Man. Ah, this fucking guy, dude. Let me get some health. Uh. Oh, man. Over here. What the fuck? No! Ah, no! Am I dead here? Is this the end? Yep, it probably is. Yep, it definitely is. Thank you for smoking Redeemed a Stretch. Okay. What's up? I'm back. Um, okay, so I have a quick question. Hey, Booksmarts, hope you're well. I may be late, but if possible, I would like to hear your thoughts on Destiny's... Mo I haven't watched it. I don't know. I don't know. I... Uh, no idea. Maybe we'll watch that if I keep raging in this game because it's not going well for me. Fuck this, dude. We're going to listen to Destiny's stupid fucking talk now. I'm not playing this. Sh I'm not playing more of this shit, dude. Let's let's for two seconds. <laughs> let's take a little bit of a break. <laughs> Let's take a little bit of a break. Um, and let's watch some Destiny, okay? <laughs> let's exit. <sighs> All right. Whew. Let's try to cool off <laughs> before we jump into this and be all heated. So... What we're reviewing is a video titled Twitter Drama Escalates into Insanely Heated Debate by Destiny. I don't know the context of this. I'm sure we'll figure it out in about half a second. Say explicitly, go target it, Harass Oh, my God, Jack. I'm targeting. I put the target on his head for, for targeted harass. Oh, my God. What the fuck? 